So true. So true. Um, well, first of all, we always review where the where, where we've gone in the mythology thus far, right? I will say that there's been thought, we always think of it in threes, right? So there's been thought already given to the film we're doing and usually two films beyond that. So anything that we're creating has to, uh, can't derail off of this kind of trilogy-like uh, preparation. For example, F9, we're already, when we're creating F9, we're thinking F9 and then 10.1, 10.2. So that's the first thing. So we're always looking ahead. Um, we're also thinking about what types, what various um, moments of spectacle we've given you already and how we can defy your expectations in the next one. And then after we're thinking about the action sequences and we are thinking, and, and of course we're thinking story all the way along and the mythology all the way through, but we're also take a lot of time to think about the evolution of characters because it's rare to have characters that are not pre-existing IPs that have no comic books or no novels behind them to have had this many episodic chapters in their franchise, in their saga. So, yes. And, 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 and then we, not to belabor the answer, but then we also think, what else don't you know about the characters that you've grown so familiar with over the past two decades? In delving into this chapter of fatherhood, as you can imagine, when one becomes a father, naturally, they reflect on their own father. They do it subconsciously or consciously in hopes to understand what their role will be as a father or how to be the best father they can be. When you go back into the franchise, if you go back to the very first film, the magical moment of that first film or the, the character-defining moment of that first film is when Dom Toretto is explaining why he's afraid or he regards this charger the way that he does to Brian O'Connor. And we discover that there's something in the past, there's a story that we're not given a whole lot of time or a whole lot of explanation on, but we know that there's a story in his past that changed him. Who would think that 20 years later, two decades later, we would now explain that story, that critical moment in his life that changed who he was forever? And Fast 9 does that. James, it's an incredible question. As we know, I'm multicultural. You could have picked anyone to be my brother. Uh, you could have picked anyone. And if you know my twin brother in real life, you realize you could pick anyone to be my, my brother, yeah. let alone my twin brother. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you something, James. As we were developing the story, it was great fun to be able to return or revisit a past that predates the first film. Once we started getting into casting, that's where the anxiety set in. That's where it was like, oh my God, it could go any million places, a, a thousand different directions. So there was a, a actual anxiety. There were so many great talented actors, but who would be right to play that type of architect? That, that archetype, that character that has to do so much in this film because it's a very intense role. All the while representing what our collective idea of a Toretto to be. 
I'm in my Dom shrine, getting ready, getting into that Dom state of mind three months before filming in California, before we went to London. And I had heard that, you know, John Cena really wants to get a shot at this. It would be a dream and all these wonderful words and I had already been a fan of who he is and his work ethics and, you know, we, I'm the, uh, maybe a week earlier we were, I was watching Ferdinand with my kids and, you know, it's just, we love John Cena. But he walks into to my Dom Shrine and I was kind of in this Dom state of mind, so it wasn't, it wasn't too hee hee ha ha. It was very, he was walking into kind of a sacred place. And we talked, and we talked about why this franchise is so sacred and what goes into it and how if you come into this franchise, everything, you have to be willing to put everything on the line. That day I posted on Instagram without talking to anyone, a picture of him and me, or a video of him and me. And I said, thank you, Pablo. Because at that moment, I thought my brother Pablo had sent him to play Jacob. The shorthand that, that Justin and I have created over the years is in we spend so much time in pre-production before anyone gets a page um, mapping out the, the, the mythology over multiple films. Um, and when it came to, and he might not have known that he was going to have to come back five years ago when I told him, mm -hmm. but I know that there's responsibility to bring that epic and anticipated finale to the franchise, to this era of the franchise. That is that trilogy of nine and the two parts in 10 that I couldn't have imagined anyone in the world. So I started plotting even before the other films were made to line that up so that he could do the finale with me of this era of the mythology. That, that theatrical experience that's like nothing else in the world where you could see a movie that warrants a whole audience all unified, cheering as one, engaged in the same story. Um, that's... That's the magic of Fast and Furious. And I, I got it on a side note, I just got to say, I'm so proud of Universal for being so bold because man, do we need it. And here it is, Fast 9, June 25th. Or, you know, you, know, you have it a bunch of different places, but this summer, we're finally going to return to that theatrical experience. And this is going to be one that is going to be so special to, to share. Hey Lisa, here with some Vin Diesel trivia for the filming of Triple X. The actor had a fake Dungeons and Dragons tattoo put on him because he is obsessed with the role playing adventure game and has stated multiple times that he's played the game for 20 plus years. So as an acknowledgement of this dedication, he had a huge fake tattoo of his D&D character's name, Melkor, on his lower abdomen. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.